Hello everyone. I was sitting here uh, in my car and I was just uh, thinking how uh, God uses our dreams to speak to us in our dreams. And um, this particular dream that I'm going to talk about is I strongly believe that God uses our dream also to show us our spiritual progress. Uh, almost kind of like to show us a report card of where we are spiritually. And so uh, back then, you know, I didn't know anything uh, about it. I just would have the dreams and they would be reoccurring dreams. And then it was like a progression of how God was just progressing me. And so when I was younger, I used to always have dreams that um, um, like I would either be on a school bus. Uh, I remember this one particular dream. I was on a school bus. And it was like I was the driver, but yet I was in the back seat. Uh, and even like as I said that, like the Spirit of the Lord began to just speak. Uh, because letting me know that you've always been the one who was called. You you were the one who was called to lead, but yet you were always, and it's true. I was always the one who would go to the back. And so I, I literally would be trying to drive the school bus from the back seat. And so that's crazy because, like, I, I said it, but, like, it's almost like God just gave me the revelation of it. Because uh, I would always be the one who was called to be out front. I was the one who got appointed and chosen. But I, me personally, Ebony, would be the one who would run to the back. And so I'm the person who would go and hide in the back. I'm the one who would walk in church and probably sit on the last row. Because I don't want to be seen. I don't want to be heard and all of these things. And so I would literally be trying to drive the school bus. Now, you know, a school bus is very long and there would be people on this school bus. So I'm trying to look over these people to see the road. And I'm literally trying to drive the school bus from the back seat. So uh, quite naturally, school bus, you're in a state where you're you're much younger. So that's in your younger state uh, when you usually ride a school bus. Most people stop riding a school bus. By the time they become a senior, they start driving or, or things of that nature. So that particular time um, represented the, the, the youth part of me where I was called by God, but yet, you know, I'm running, pretty much running or putting myself in a position where I'm in the back. And so then I started having dreams where I would always be late for class or I always be late um, joining a class. And that dream was reoccurring. Like I would have that dream often to where I would be joining the class at the end of the school year or at the end of the semester. So I'm always playing catch up. That dream occurred very often. And I believe that sometimes God would give us our progress reports. And even in the natural, God gives us a, a progress report when it's time to go to the next level. So even in the natural, you get your report card at the end of the school year when it's time for you to go to the next grade level. And so I believe that in the spiritual realm God does that as well he'll give you like a progress report to literally show you where you are and so this was like God's way of showing me where I was spiritually so I would have this reoccurring dream where I'm showing up at the last minute and it would always be like final times or it would always be when the, the grand project is due is when I would be literally showing up and so I would always be trying to play catch up, catch up like, and I, I remember there was a dream that I had where I was asking the teacher, what can I do to earn extra credit? What can I do? Because if I don't, you know, do something, chances are I'm going to fail because y'all are like at the end of the year and I'm just not joining the class. And I would have that dream so many times and so often and I never knew spiritually what the dream meant. And I feel like as I'm sitting here, the Lord has given me the interpretation of those dreams. It was, I was showing you your progress. Progress. I was showing you where you were at. And I was showing you how it's like you've been behind time. And I truly, I've been saying that. And I've heard people, some people say there's no such thing as being behind time. Well, yes, there is. Because if you're not where you need to be in God, and, and if God's saying you need to be on this level, but you, you're not at the level then you're behind time and it's like i've always been trying to play catch up in the spiritual realm 
We're here lately. I've been having dreams that I've gone from being the student to the teacher. And so that it within itself is promotion and it's letting you know that you you're you're progressing. It's letting you know that you are graduating and you're progressing, which is awesome. Praise the living God. And so uh, I recently had a dream where I was a teacher and I was in a classroom and some of the students that were in the classroom, it's like something took place where they were either on break or something like that. Cause I remember like, it was almost like I was taking attendance and I remember calling out a student's name. I was like, wow, like I haven't seen you in months. Like, where have you been? And so I remember some of the students, it's like I had been with them, but some of them like had been gone for a period of time. And it's, and I was so like shocked to see them. And so as I was sitting here, I believe the Lord gave me the interpretation of that dream. And it's to say, of, of course you have graduated, but the people that you're now going to teach, some of them have been in the faith for a while, but because of your obedience ebony because of what god is going to do down on the inside of you god's going to use you to cause those people to come back he's going to use you to cause those people to be drawn back and so that is an awesome testimony and i i'm praising god that he's going to do that uh on my behalf and that he's going to use me to do that because uh of course it is my desire to be used of god it is my desire to be used by god and I've been just yielding myself to him, God, however you desire to use me, here I am. I make myself available to you. So if you have dreams such as that nature, that is God trying to show you literally where you are in the spirit realm. It's a sign and we do it in the natural and God is doing it also in the spirit. Or at least he did it for me. But I also feel like that's how God, God is going to show you some kind of way where he's going to show you how you are progressing. And so God speaks to me in my dreams. And so if God is speaking to you in your, in your dreams and you have no understanding of that, then this is maybe your confirmation that this is how God is speaking to you. So anyway, that's pretty much all I had to share. And so find out where you are in God to where you can continue to grow and continue to progress. And the Holy Spirit will begin to speak to you. And he's a teacher of all things. And he's so intelligent. He's such an intelligent um, being. I don't like to say person. Being. He's such an intelligent deity. He's so sovereign. And he's so mighty. So you guys have a wonderful day. This is uh, talking about dreams and revelation and progress. Uh, so you guys subscribe. Mm-hmm. <laughs>